There he is. He's right here. You want me to come back near this? I require a beefed up weed eater next time. Why are you barefooted? Um, I only put flip flops on. Well, why don't you take your flip flops off? Because they're in my good shoes. <laughs> this is a really pretty flower bed, but no more. It has been destroyed. Sarah was just about to change into her pajamas for her was. nightly routine of relaxing. I and I said, hey, <laughs> come on and go with me. Let's go get your copperhead. And so she agreed. Yes, and my, so, good, my good outfit. And her my good, good outfit. My good shoes. A lady says that uh, there's a snake on her front porch. Yeah. Her husband's disabled and there's a wheelchair ramp there. I guess the snake came up the wheelchair ramp and is on the porch. She thinks it's a copperhead. Maybe it is, maybe it's not. We're gonna get there and see. I just hope whatever it is, we can find the snake for it. I think this is it. Yeah, this is it. You just crawl down under that hydrangea. Under the hydrangea? Yeah, that's a hydrangea right there. Here, I'll show you. I'll take pictures of it. But he came all the way up to here, to the glass. I came back out. I came in from work. Didn't even see him. Where is it? Let me see him. I'm terrified of snakes. Terrified. Freaking terrified. I understand. Where the hell? Where are they? Okay, that's him. Yeah. So where did he go? So he was up here on the porch. He was. When I came, I went, I came in and I came in the house and then I came back out because I was going to get those ferns and put them out in the rain. And I came right here and when I stepped right there, I saw him right there. Okay. And when I, I ran back in the house and he came all the way up to this window. Yeah. So the picture she showed me is a copperhead. So we know we're looking for a copperhead in here. At least one copperhead. <laughs> Do you, you think know. there's more? I mean, it's a juvenile. It's not an adult. How long was it? Um, That's probably, a full-grown adult. That is an adult. A, a juvenile is like this. Oh. Copper is don't get much bigger than that. Oh, I thought they got like really, really big. No, so no, that no. Was an adult? That was an adult. That's a full-grown adult. Well, I know they're poisonous. Are they deadly poisonous? Uh, they're not deadly, but it's a, you know, a medical emergency if you get bit. For sure. And so where did he go the last time you saw him? Right here. Right there. That's him right there. He slithered down he right this there. Way. Yes. Okay. He went, he was right beside that wheelchair ramp. Okay. He's gotta be in that flower bed. Either that or under this ramp. Oh my god. Let me try to look under the because ramp. Because I've been watching the whole time and I never saw him come back out. I've been watching the yard to see if he went across the yard. There's a little toad. Copperheads will eat those. Oh. It was already broke. I've been here almost 16 years and I've never seen a copperhead. Ever. I don't see him under your ramp, even all the way down there. Do they climb? All snakes can climb, but copperheads don't climb as well as like rat snakes and things do. So, anytime there's vegetation, there's another toad right there. Vegetation covering the ground like this. Good hiding place for copperheads. And this stuff is so thick and dense that even if he's right here, it's hard to see this stuff so thick. All right, so let me get down in here. Copperheads are not aggressive, but... I was really surprised that that one tried to, I mean, I know it, I, to me it was trying to get in the door. It may, Maybe it wasn't, but to, to come back. To come by, it was right here, yeah. and then for it to come that way, yeah. and come up to the window. Well, they're they're curious. They don't have the best eyesight either, 
So they see you, they don't really know what you are. So. Have you ever been bit? Uh, no, ma'am. I've only done this for about two weeks for it. What? I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Well, how long I've, have you been doing this? I've done this since I was about seven years old. I've never been bitten by any bit of a snake. And <laughs> it's not because I'm faster than the snake. It's not because I'm good with a hook. It's because I don't put a portion of my body close enough to where he could strike me if he wants to. So there's a difference in aggression and defense. So what snakes. Your legs, though. Well, I'm watching where I step. Now, this is really thick, but as long as I look where my feet are going and around where my feet are going before I step in here, I can safely do this and not get myself bit. But you got to make sure you watch where you step. Um, stepping next to a copperhead, it might not bite me. <laughs> stepping on a copperhead, there's a good chance it would bite me. I cannot believe all the freaking things. Freaking copperhead. Under the ramp right here is a step. Yes. I'm trying to see if that copperhead could possibly gain access. There. No, that's pretty tight. There's a hole, but it doesn't really go anywhere. See him right, right here. There's some flowers you need to down. Well, I would definitely trim them up where you can see the ground, especially if you're not a fan of snakes. <laughs> well, there's nowhere he can hide except for in this stuff. I'm trying not to mess your plants up. I don't care because they're coming out. Okay. That's what I like to hear is I'm tearing your plants up. <laughs> yeah. So don't worry about them because... I said that to make myself feel better about damaging your plants. All right. I just can't do this. I mean... What is this? Well, lantana? Yeah, it's lantana. Yeah, lantana, man. Snakes love lantana. Because... Okay. Yeah, because of how it grows. It grows and covers the ground. Which is what snakes like. Snakes like to be hidden. And, uh, oh, I don't. I don't know who's gonna do it, but I'm not gonna do it. Well, especially it's... especially copperheads. Copperheads are cryptic. They rely heavily on camouflage. So if you get a place like this, where they can easily hide, they feel very comfortable here. So right now, this snake is probably just coiled up in here, and uh, doesn't care too much about me because he's so well hidden. hard even when you rake stuff back with the hook that's why I'm not just stepping over in here it's so hard to see the ground all the way and is that true that you can smell a, that a poisonous snake smells like a cucumber no ma'am that's, a, I that's, that's, that's a what myth. my dark granddaughter just said I said I ain't smell anything yeah that's, that's a myth you, you won't smell a copperhead unless you catch him and he musk on you uh, then it smells a really musky, bad smell, but not like you can. That's just an old live tail. Where did you go? Oh, there he is. Oh, there he is. Might have scared him back up under that deck. Yeah, I'm going to look over there in a second. I haven't really been up in here yet, though. I'm just trying to thoroughly check this area right here before I step over in here because I want to make sure there's no snake there before I do that because this stuff is so thick mm -hmm. cutting this stuff out of here is going to be a gonna... good thing for her to do she could be hiding anywhere yeah it's just so hard to see the ground even when you rake yourself back 
That's why I'm trying to watch to see if he, if I see him moving when you're doing all that. Sarah, can you look in that bag and see if you see him? So they hide in the trees too, huh? Occasionally, not very often though. I found them in shrubbery before. Can you see on top of that oh, stick? Well, so I'm trying to get, I gotta get up here closer. My hair is getting to crawl in that bush. Shave your head like me, you don't have to worry about your hair. Okay. Huh. Nope. What about down at the very end of the ramp? Toad scared me. Oh, a snake looking at me. It's a toad. <laughs> I got some slippery shit. Or I got a weed. Yeah. He's trying to cut that back right there. I don't care. It's fine with me. I'm just wondering, did he? Like, did he go? Like on the other side of the thing, maybe? Like under the deck and on the other side? We got my star. Wherever you want. Across You're breaking them in right, huh? Yeah, I've been here almost 16 years by myself. Like all, these, all these houses just closed last Tuesday. Wow. Yeah. The lizard almost got you. <laughs> hey, that's copperhead food. Lizards, they love those. Why are you barefooted? I didn't bring, um, I only put flip flops on. I didn't know what right. You said hurry, hurry, hurry. Well, why don't you take your flip flops off? Because they're good, my good shoes. <laughs> uh, I'm used to being. She'd barefoot. rather walk out here and hunt a copperhead barefoot and then get her good flip flops dirty. Well, what okay. is a flip flop going to do? Well, they're not snake proof flip flops. No. <laughs> I'd rather be barefooted. I don't know if an electric weed eater. Oh, I love those. What are you doing? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, ask for. Oh, there you go. That's what I want, is an electric one. Yeah, I need a light. You need a protector. So I want to make sure I don't hit the copper here. I don't want to hurt the copper. <laughs> We need like a diesel powered weed eater. If you want me to come back and do this, I require a beefed up weed eater <laughs> next time. <laughs> I'm a girl. I can't get the other one. I can't, the ones with gas, I can't get them to start. I don't, I don't like those either, honestly. I can get that one to start. It won't last long. We're scaring the lizards out. We're scaring the lizards. You gotta be scaring the snakes. There he is! He's right here! 
got him? You, no, right here. Hurry, get him. He's the beautiful. Hook. Where's the hook? In my hand. Oh, sorry. He's Look there. Gorgeous. Isn't he pretty? Where is he? Right here. Come here and look. That weed eater scared him out of there. Holy. Oh. There she goes. Get out here what are you going to do with it? Yeah, we'll take him somewhere and turn him loose. <laughs> not near you, not where he'll come back. Please, not nowhere near me. Sarah, do I have anything to put it in? in? I have no idea. I never have anything to put a snake in. I have a cooler that I was going to throw away. You going to throw it away because it has a big hole in it? <laughs> oh, it does have a hole. It does thing Sarah, there's a cooler yeah. in the back of the Venom van. Go grab the cooler and I'll watch Why don't snake. you have a snake box? I have a hundred snake boxes there in the oh snake. Oh, Lord. I kept looking behind me because I knew he would, if that toad was scared out the other way. Yeah. He's a fast like a little copperhead. He, I think he's stunning. Very beautiful copperhead. Why do you think they came to my house? Well, you know, you got your porch light on, which attracts moths, which attracts lizards and toads and frogs, which copperheads will eat. So, and the most important thing you have right here at your house is all that vegetation, which I kind of destroyed. <laughs> so sorry about that. I'm going to do it. I'm about to put my house up for sale, and the guy, the realtor, already told me I had to cut all that back. Okay. And I'm like, so, no, I was fighting him, but I ain't fighting him now. When you have overgrown vegetation like that, it's perfect for copperheads. But I've never, in all the years I've been here, I've never seen a copperhead, ever, ever, well, ever. Most snakes you walk past, you don't ever know they were there. <laughs> Oh my God, we just bought five and a half acres in Foresight. And I just told him, I said, I'm not moving to the woods now. Not doing it. I can't do it. Yeah, but like I said, Kyle, these snakes are not aggressive. As long as you, I mean, just like when I was out here in this really thick stuff, okay? I'm in this thick stuff wearing shorts and tennis shoes, knowing there's a venomous snake here. But what I'm doing is I'm watching where I'm stepping. So for instance, if I'm standing right here and there's a copperhead right there, I'm safe. This snake, these snakes are not aggressive, they're defensive. What that means is, if that snake is here and I'm here, he's not gonna come over and bite me. In order for you to get bit by a copperhead or another venomous snake, you have to put a portion of your body close enough to him so he can bite you. If he can't reach you from where he is, you're safe. He's not gonna come to you to get you. Now, sometimes venomous snakes will go towards you. But it's not an act of aggression. They're doing that to either get past where you're at, or maybe they think you're stuck casting a shadow. They want to hide in your shadow, okay? But they're not being aggressive to come at you. So once you understand how these snakes behave, it's pretty easy not to get bit by them as long as you're paying attention to where your hands go and where your feet go. If you're going to have bushes and plants out here, make sure you can stand here and see the ground all the way around it. That doesn't mean you're not going to have snakes. It just means snakes, like copperheads, are going to be less comfortable being there because they rely heavily on camouflage. It looks like a freaking war zone. <laughs> it, does. I know it. it does. I get up in the morning and be like, what the hell happened out here? <laughs> so when I walked up here, the first thing I noticed is this is a really pretty flower bed, <laughs> but no more. It has been destroyed in the name of removing a copperhead. Oh my god. <laughs> he was like, hurry, get your shoes on, get out the door, come on, we gotta go, we gotta go. I was like, okay, so I just threw, I mean, I only Do you normally do this with him? I do. Sometimes I go on my own calls and go do Are I you crazy? <laughs> I have a, my husband had a stroke about four years ago. Oh, really? He's paralyzed on the left side. Really? Oh, yeah, man. so he's in a wheelchair, but there, I have a lady that comes over and stays with him. I'm not, I was gonna send her a picture of the snake, but I'm not gonna. I'm going to let her come here in the morning. And and say, she's going to tell me, why have you a flower bed? And I'm going to be like, what? <laughs> I don't know. What do you mean? I'm going to come running outside and say, oh my God, what happened? I'm not going to tell. <laughs>
<laughs> All right. Well, thank you, man. I'm glad we got them for you. A lot of times we come out here, and especially where it's this grown up, and we just can't find them. So I did not anticipate coming and weed eating at 10 o'clock at night at somebody's <laughs> house. But uh, <laughs> Make sure you have your snake. <laughs> <laughs> He's in there. Come look at him. Oh, my God. <laughs> It's a pretty snake. You gotta admit, that's right, a pretty can snake. Can I get my phone and get a picture? Yeah, of it? yeah, we'll get a picture. Can you take a picture of it right over it? Yeah. I'm not going anywhere near it. I'd be glad to. Well, All right, you have well, I'm gonna keep night. you. What is your name? Jason Clark. Jason Clark. And if I see another one, I'll be calling you. Let us know. Right. Have a good night. Once she told me where the snake was, I really didn't think we were gonna catch it. I really didn't. Did you? Um, cause I was there. Yeah, I thought you didn't catch it. <laughs> okay. Whew, that was fun. I knew we were going to go catch a copperhead because as soon as we got there, the lady showed me a photo on her phone of, uh, of the copperhead on the porch. And so I knew that's what it was. <laughs> you know, a lot of times you'll get there and they'll, they'll, they'll say it's a, a rattlesnake or a copperhead or a cottonmouth. And, and most of the time, that's just not what it is. But when you have a photo, <laughs> that kind of helps to know, okay, yeah, this is a copperhead. I don't know how to get out of here. Uh, that way? Uh, that way? I don't know. So I knew this was going to be a pretty easy snake to catch. At least that's what I thought. <laughs> because she said the snake was on her porch. Then we get there, she said, oh, he just crawled off my porch into this miniature jungle. <laughs> so uh, right. it was a lot of plants and just overgrowing, but it, it actually looked really nice. I kind of liked how it looked, and so did it, so did the copperhead. <laughs> but um, you know, I, I get a lot of comments about you know why are you not wearing snake-proof boots? Uh, first of all, <laughs> there's no such thing as snake-proof boots. There are snake boots. But a lot of these companies over the years, I've noticed they've started taking the word proof off the boot because so many people have been bitten through them. Uh, so snake proof boots or snake boots are great to have. And if you think you need them, then wear them. But, um, you know, I like to let people know you don't have to go and purchase a product and spend a bunch of money in, in, in order to not get bit by a snake. Yeah, you can wear flip-flops. Like or, or take your flip-flops off. And take your back up <laughs> but, but it basically comes down to paying attention to what you're doing, watching where you step, watching where your hands go, making sure there's not a snake there before your body part gets to that area. And then, you know, when you encounter a snake, leave it alone. Don't try to kill it. Don't try to catch it. That's how a lot of bites happen is trying to kill or catch a snake. So, um, and you notice I didn't actually go in the plants with Jason just because I didn't have a, a tennis shoes on or something. So I stayed. Yeah. Now that my tennis shoes are snake proof, but you no, know, but it is the more things you have on is protected. Yeah. Even if I was wearing jeans, which I don't ever want you to see me wearing jeans. I mean, that'd be a bad day. I don't like wearing jeans. I like wearing shorts and I'm going to continue to do that. So, uh, but doing that, I really have to watch where I step because of what I'm wearing. And I'm, I'm okay with that. Which way? We go left? Yes. Okay. So right now what we're doing is, uh, I don't want this copperhead. I don't need this copperhead and I want to turn this copperhead loose. So we're going to stay kind of in this vicinity somewhere and we're going to find a place to turn this thing loose away from houses where it won't end up in an overgrown flower bed. At least that's the plan. And thank you for helping me catch it. You know, it, it's a lot easier when you have two sets of eyes looking for a snake. Now you're the one that saw it. Yeah, well it's so, I have so, better eyes than you do. Okay. I have snake eyes. So when you saw, I have snake eyes, they're just not always turned on. When you when you saw the snake i just heard you say here he is or something like that mm -hmm. and he was coming out from under the, the the wheelchair ramp yeah okay i think he was in all those plants like and, and the weed eater the vibe you know yeah. the snake didn't hear the weed eater but he can pick up on vibrations and so all that vibrations and, and cutting all the plants down well, so the funny thing is i saw two toads come out from underneath the deck and I thought, you know, if, if he's scaring the toads to go under there, yeah. 
Yeah. And I'm going to keep watch because he might be scaring the copperhead to go under there. Okay, I think I just found a spot to turn this thing loose. Right here. All right, so this is uh, some pretty thick vegetation here, which this copperhead has already showed us. That's the kind of stuff he likes. And he's in this cooler <laughs> with no air holes. So we need to go ahead and get them out of here. And this is a really pretty, all copperheads are pretty, but this copperhead is a really pretty copperhead. So come here, little fella. Look at there. Even if you don't like snakes, <laughs> that is a pretty little snake. I love copperheads. A little tongue flicking. He's trying to figure out what's going on out here. And you see the little Hershey kiss shapes on the side? <sighs> One way to figure out, yep, that's copperhead, all right. <laughs> all right, so no more messing around with you. Into the bushes, you go.